Hi, welcome. We are going to update our hello icons. I just saw another uh, post here from Alejandro Camarena and he has uh, updated his hello icons from 1.5.1 to 1.5.2. So what do I do to give you those in Arch? It's an, a rather long but efficient workflow, so I would like to show you my tools and maybe also a little bit of about package building. So what, how does it look if you want to build a package? Um, here it starts. A post telling me that my hello icons, control alt T, if I go to the Arch wiki, so sorry, to the Arch uh, AUR, and I type in hello icons, then hello icons git is 1.5.1. So I have, I'm one version behind. Okay, fine. So let's uh, deal with it. Let's fix that. Where do I look? Well, there is a Dropbox that I need later on. Here I have the hello icons git. So that is the file that's going to go on the AOR. We're going to have to change this one. Then I need also my, uh, let's, let's go back and let's do it like this. Open in a new tab. So this keeps open and I can switch like this. This is Tunar guys help about okay so we can have a look at this these are actual icons these are the icons coming from uh, Alejandro okay so this is what I put on the github and what is my github let's open some stuff here so github.com learning by heart and then or is arch merge or it's called Arch Merge Linux, one of both. Yeah, it's one of the two. And I think this one is all about scripting, as you can see, and about the repos and all that. But the worm from hello, I uh, and this one is actually here. So repositories, hello icons. That's the one we need. Nice. So this is the same as what I have in this folder. So the hello icons. Hello dark, hello. Now I have to check what is new from his website to what do I have, okay? So readme.md tells me that, because it's, it has been a while, that this is the URL and this is the one here. So that's the URL for the files, the original files from Alejandro. So I go to a third website and that's the source. This is the source. And that's the one I need. So download zip. And that's the one I need. And download zip. Now you don't need me anymore. I mean, you don't need an AOR. You can just download these and then unpack it and put it in your home directory. Dot themes. Uh, sorry, dot icons, of course. Yeah dot icons. If it's not existing there, you should make it dot icons. <laughs> okay, so we've downloaded the two packages. Let's take a look. Third tab open. Make it a little bit bigger. Hopla. A lot of stuff in there that I still have to check. But here is hello dark and hello master. Okay, let's move these two to cut to the desktop and paste. And extract them. So extract here. Hello dark. Hello master. So they are in total twenty thousand icons of hundred seventeen megabytes. All right. Now I can go over them one by one to see what's the difference between this folder and that folder, but I'm not gonna do that. Of course not. What am I gonna do? I'm gonna press super F5. The program melt starts. I'm gonna say, take a directory. Which one? The right one is always my original one. So arch merge, 
hello. Let's start with hello first and then dark. So I'm going to compare my directory with the one I downloaded. And the one I downloaded is on my desktop and it's called hello master. But the master is just a part coming from uh, the GitHub. So it's working very hard. You can see it in this little icon at the top right here. And he's comparing, he has to compare 20,000 lines or so. So as you can see, if we go into detail, there are some elements that have changed in here. And he'll say that the color has changed. This is an hexadecimal color. Now, I completely follow Alejandro. If he says, okay, the color had to be changed, the color had to be changed. So, copy to the right. Now, we have here also something that's quite interesting. You can say, these two guys, I don't want to see these two guys because these are the same. So, I don't want to see the same things. It's going to check again these 20,000 other things. And this is easier for me. So now I can select from here till all the way down. A lot of work has been done, I guess. Till here. And we move it to the right. Remember, this is the download, the desktop, and that's my GitHub for the AOR. Now, any um, icon, if you want to make a cache file, you cannot apply elements with a space. So I'm not going to copy paste those, but I'm going to copy paste all the rest. Hola, a lot of work has been done. And copy to the right. How easy can it be? Again, all the way down. Everything that's blue, probably gonna mean that he has changed the color or some kind of difference. If you wanna know, let's check again. These files are identical, he says now. Um, let's see if we can change this and then refresh. Control R. So don't want those. These are the dangling things. So they are pointing to somewhere that does not exist. So these are links that are forgotten. Links that are pointing to some file that's not there anymore. So I'm not gonna copy paste those either, but the rest is going to go to the right. This is a new one, I guess. Arduino, copy to the right. Circle template is okay, probably a nice uh, SVG, but with a space we get an error, so I won't put it in. I have here the same circle template with a dash, so that's okay. That's a new one. That's a new one. We're getting things in for Deepen, and we have uh, Arch Merge, but that doesn't matter really. This one I can more or less will not kill us. And in the end, if we want to have Arch merged with Deeping, which is a possibility, guys, then we just do it and we have our icons. This has been deleted, Linguist QT4. I'm going to keep it. Another one that has been deleted or renamed QT4. Okay. Wait a moment. This is an SVG. That's an SVG. Why did I not copy that over? So if the compare always, my head goes from left to right, from right to left, from left to right, because we have to see. And if we are tired, we can just do a refresh and see what we've done already. So that's actually the job I have to do. Now I'm not going to pause. So if you don't want to see me doing all this work, skip ahead, no problem. But this is the time it takes me 
to provide you with a okay with a package from AOR so it has SVGs now PNGs can go this one can go copy to the right PNGs can go we'll have to see if there are other PNGs maybe why are there still blue up there Okay. Ubiquity, that's for Ubuntu. Go to the right. That's a space. Don't like spaces. Well, I don't like. I do like spaces, but not the the cache file there. SVG. Copy to the right. Copy to the right. We are finally there. A little remark. Because of uh, the hello icons, um, I've, um, if, if, uh, if there are icons that are not available in the hello icons, I told the system to check out if there are certain icons. I could point out also the savvy icons or something else, but it would be looking awkward. Uh, the savvy icons are round and circle and all that, so it would be awful. So I think the best uh, guess for us is surfing. If you say, well, I'll prefer Mocha or Faba or Gnome or anything, just put it behind it or in front of it and say, okay, let's take as well uh, Sadly and, and so on and so on and so on and so on. So that's um, a very strong thing that this, this inherits. This means if there is no icon, it's going to check in the Surfer icon folder and then in the Sadly icon folder and the Gnome folder and the High Color folder and so on. That's a very important line here. Anyway, that being said, I'm going to ask him to refresh again. So these are the things I do not want because it will end up with errors. These are PNGs, SVGs. This is an SVG with a space, I guess. PNG, QT4. Why is this not copied over? Copy to the right. Copy to the right. All right, recheck. How strange is that? Ubiquity, we had that already. Compare. Well, a lot of differences. Okay, go over to the other side, to the dark side. Well, one moment. All right, so last check. Again, this strange thing here. I don't know why he's telling me that there are always differences. In this case, there are no differences, so no panic. Files are identical, even if it says they're not identical. So Control A, Control C, Control A, Delete, Control V. This should be the same. Now, refresh. It's really having a problem probably with all this uh, number of uh, files. Anyway, that's it. That's for the hello icons. So the hello icons have now been uh, updated. What we should do now is the dark ones. The same process applies again with Arch Merge or, or my GitHub things. This is my GitHub thing, the original one to the left, uh, sorry, right. And then the desktop is dark again, open, compare. And then the fun starts again. So, all of this. I wonder if I can do this. So the modified off, and I guess I'll get only, only the green ones, but 
I want to be sure, so I'm going to scroll anyway. I could tell all the folder to go over there. I want to check if everything is green and no blues in there. Yeah, so that's okay. And I say copy to right. We don't want the dangling things, but we do want the rest. But we don't want the space. So too quick is not good. We really have to check out why we take it. And we look to the left and we look to the right. I've been, oh, that's so long time I have heard from HD Track. It's an application to download your complete website to your PC. So a, a leecher actually, that's what I call it. It's leeches complete website to your system. Okay, so the PNG has to go. Fine by me. As long as it works, it's okay. So we have done this one. And that one has to go. And this one has to go. I guess so. And that one is PNG. That has to go. Um, SVG. So it's moving more and more to the SVG form rather than the PNG form, which is okay which is very much okay. Fine. So this is why we are not copy pasting um, anything with a space. Otherwise we cannot create a new icon theme cache. All right, so that's the new one. Don't forget, um, we have to check the modified. So a lot of things have been modified as well. So everything that's blue has been modified. Keep off the green. So I can't just say this thing there because then also the green things are coming to my GitHub. I don't want that. I just want these guys over and not anything yellow. Copy to the right, check and copy to the right. What's this? Index team. Same thing applies. Um, yeah, I have to have to tell I have to blah, blah. Um, rename the theme because the one uh, the other one calls a name the other name is hello and the folder is hello dark but in some of the distro, distros or desktop environments you can't name the theme differently I mean the theming the name of the theme is often read in the folder name but also in this line so this line should be different than the other one. So that's why I call this one hello dark and the other one hello. And the same goes for surfing. I changed something here, scalable, so okay. I did not check that uh, in the other file, actually. I have to recheck that. So SVG. So rechecking is also quite an interesting idea. That's this one, so easy. Just click here, hop, and we have a recheck. So I wanted to check this one. Aha, uh -huh. it did not change it here. We kept this as fixed. That's strange. Did I overwrite it? That's always possible. Did I overwrite it? Where is it? I deleted it already, or what? Crash. Woo. Go look for it. So, ah, here it is, of course. Um, hello dark we are an hello master so i have to delete this one and hello master again strike here and the index theme so the question i'm putting myself to is is there no this it does want that won't work we need to go to the melt so the question is if we refresh if we refresh we are in hello is there an svg change here in the directory in the actions anywhere and we see it here there's the blue line up here so this means this is changed all the rest is not changed so i'm safe it's okay i have my hello icons git oh wait a moment eric so the one we have is this one this is where everything is now saved. I'll put it online. So I'm gonna say uh, open terminal here. And I'm gonna, whoops, I'm gonna send it to the GitHub. Huh? 
So updated to version 1.5.2, I guess it was. Like so. All right, and okay. So this has been changed. So quite a few elements, a lot of action things that have been included now. And um, done. So we have the latest version on GitHub. In here, not in here, in here, we see that there was a commit updated to version 1.5.2. And these things have been changed. That's what I did, that's what you can see. Updated to version 1.5.2. Now, it's still on the GitHub. It's not in the AOR. Nobody gets an update from the package. Hello icons. Okay, nobody. All right, what's next up? This is the desktop, don't need that. Then I am gonna go to this folder here and have this package built. And it says that it's not from me, that it's from somebody else and hello icons and, and so on. No, it doesn't really, does it? No, I should, should actually copy paste something in there. So now is the time. So arch merged, um, arch merged, yeah. Hello icons, read me. I Alejandro Camarena. That's the name you need. Um, whoops. Go back. Ah, yeah. There's one thing I just noticed. I forgot. Completely forgot. But um, let's let's uh, do that later. Okay, I'm XFCE, so I can do this. And then let's do. Continue our story, and our story was in Dropbox, and in Dropbox we have the package built for the AOR, and we were working on it, and I thought by myself, somewhere we should mention who's the author. So the set is inspired, blah, blah, blah. that's the text I, I got from them, but I do feel that somewhere the author should be mentioned, so from Voila, Alejandro Galea. Save. So, what I'm going to do is now update this. It's package name this. So it's going to go from 1.5.2. Package description has been updated. It's from our personal GitHub. It's a little bit changed, so a little bit different between the actual hello icons and ours. And, uh, blah, blah, blah. Just skip everything and he's going to install it. Yeah, we could go in detail later on a later time when it's an interesting to do and we're gonna commit this as well so now what happens if i do this i better we should have checked that before so we're gonna check afterwards if you type something like this then you see it's already done i should have done it before 1.5.2 i've just updated it this is what you just saw this is now finally having the name. Great. So it's up to date. It's on the system. The thing is, if you now do, and it, it takes a little bit of time, but let's try anyway. So PKSUI, etc. And then there you have it. Hello icons 1.5.2 are coming in. And I'm a bit hasty now because I forgot to do the other thing. That's your fault, guys. So anyway, we are installing this one. What we did forget was just the check. And not just the check, but also the icon cache maker. So let's do that afterwards. So if we check, I have some script to check for blank or spaces. That's not 
It's a problem if there is a file with blank or spaces. So blank, blank or is Dutch for blank spaces. And um, that's clean, nothing there. And then the broken links checker. If there are icons there that are pointing to something that's not there, it's, it's broken actually. Yeah? So, okay, that's that. Enter script, fine, thank you very much. And then finally we can make an icon cache maker. Create this successfully, that means that everything is in order. The only thing I should do now is upload it again. And all checks done in, eh? something like that. Plus our icon cache. So what did we do? Voila, there you see it. The icon cache has been rewritten. And it's this file that makes your system fast. That is the cache, you know, cache running Firefox browsers, it's the cache. So it's uh, a little bit faster if you have it. I um, really don't know how much faster, but okay, it's there. Now we're good to go. The only thing I don't have, because I just installed it, is the cache file. So I don't have a new cache file. But everybody else who's now going to update it, from now on, we'll get the new cache file because the new cache file is on the GitHub. If I want to have the new Git file, then I should actually try to reinstall it. That will do it probably. Pseudo Pac-Man is not possible, Eric. We should yaourt it, this thing. Minus S. Well, actually, we have an alias and that's far more easier to work with. We have this thing here that says PKS. With uh, install it with not confirmation, no, yes, no, no, yes, no, yes. I've made the package myself, so it's okay. Big yes. And then hello icons. And they're on Git. So you end always with Git. So it's going to reinstall it. And now we'll, I will get now the files from the GitHub, the latest files from GitHub. 1.5.2 with the cache. All right, that's it. That was my workflow. I don't know how much time I spent in it, but um, that's what I need to do every time there's a new release. And I hope you learned something. And uh, we'll get, go into detail sometime in the package builds and all that. All right, ciao, enjoy.